Mahouts are taking these elephants in for a bath. The elephants have been working in the forest in Chitwan all morning long, and now they love nothing more than to get into the water. Oh, look at that. Oh, nice moment. Oh, it feels so good. Clearly, the Mahout and the elephant have created a very strong bond of trust. And now, look at this Mahout. He's cleaning the stones out of the elephant's feet, and he's just gently letting the water caress his body. It's just really a nice, tender moment. It's just amazing control and trust between man and elephant here. They look like big teddy bears. Nice, powerful animals. I just love this view when the elephant gives this guy a bath. Dan believes there's sloth bear in this particular forest. Sloth bears are really ferocious and very secretive animals. Just keep going, keep going. Okay. The sloth bear with two babies on the back and one on the ground. These bears are very unique in the bear world in their ability to carry their babies on their back. Let's go up the road. Okay, stop. I can't believe the babies are still on her. Let me see if I got that. Yeah, look at that picture. I've got it. You can see the two babies, but no head on the mother. Oh, almost a good shot. Almost a good shot. Sometimes you get it, sometimes you don't. Tomorrow we'll try again. That's it. All right, let's go home. This is really nice. Mother and its two-month-old calf right out in warm early morning light. I love it when the baby just runs through the mother's legs for security. So it goes out 10, 15, 20 feet away from the mother and then comes right back. And every time it comes back, there's some sort of connection with the mother. The baby's putting its nose up. It's got its eyes looking at us. It tweaks its ears. And it's almost got this goofy expression, which is really nice to capture on such an enormous animal. You see the baby, is, it's looking at us. and go to the mother to touching again and coming back, you know? It's just fascinating to me how adorable a baby rhino can be. These are animals that have been hammered in the past by poaching and by trophy hunting, and it's great to see so many of them giving birth to babies and relaxed and in their natural habitat, which is exactly the way one would hope to see them.
it's so amazing that it was here. Okay, if I get out. Yeah, we're not going too far. We go over here. Okay. What's the rhino? If if rhino come toward us, yeah, we leave your camera there, whatever yep. you have, yep. and we we'll just run out the car. Okay. Okay. These animals are short tempered and fast moving. Now we're getting to the point where we are exposed. I've been charged before, and we don't want that. So let's just bring the car down. That's a big bull. Big bull, yes, big male. Big dominant male of this area. And he's got a big scar on his shoulder. Yeah, he'd been fighting with other male. So how fast can you run? Not very fast, sir. Not very fast? No. No, I can run up to the tree. But let's go down the road and see what we can okay. find. OK, OK, sir. Go this way. OK. Uh, leave Ryan in the grassland. See if we can get a little closer by the car. Right? Yeah. OK. Right here, right there. This is really close. This is the best view I've seen, especially of a male. And he is checking us out right now. It's really amazing when it lifts its head and suddenly stares right at you. It goes instantly from an animal grazing in the grass to being this powerful presence. 